Okay, this is Warang Gaming back here again with another part of the playthrough. This time um, we're going to be going to, or well, technically we already are in the Guardian's Way Refuge in Pronost. So from here, uh, let's go ahead and before we even step outside the, the refuge, let's see, you know, what all we're trying to do. So we have some spellcraft challenges that we're working on, which we're going to try and prioritize getting those out of the way first. Then after that, we're going to start making our way around this area and taking care of a few of the things that are surrounding the place where we're at. We'll try and take care of some chests and some other stuff here too while doing those spellcraft challenges. So, yep, let's just get into it. Seems we're free of any immediate danger. Here's hoping it stays that way. So one of the things we need to do is put down a lot of damage in terms of spellcraft. There it is. And that's pretty much just like this, using scatter shot. How are you feeling? Have to make sure that you stay away from these the rams. Ready? The rams can do a lot of damage if they get up on you. However, they tend to advance relatively slowly. So use that to your advantage. Right in the sweet spot. So we've managed to just get to the 5,000 point in terms of damage for Scattershot level one. So that's good news. We still have quite a ways to go though, but you know, we're making it. Now let's pick a direction. Let's go ahead and get five out of the way since it's right there. Make sure that you don't spend, I'm sure I've talked about this many times before, but make sure that you don't run your stamina down too quickly. Never make the mistake of doing that. Did you find something? Okay, we're gonna go up here. And since I already see what's up this way, we're gonna start we got this. with setting up a dispersal cloud. And that'll give us a chance to be able to attack each of these monsters in time. There we go. So always make sure that you prep for a battle, if possible, before putting yourself in one. All right. Go ahead and take whatever's in here. From what I see, it looks like there's a bunch of mana trails up here. Yep. I mean, again, there's no way that you could possibly have trouble leveling her up. It's just not possible. The only way is if the person is just not trying to look around or do anything because they have too much mana out here. Okay, let's go ahead and get this done. Oh, that's really simple. Click. Next. You've got quite good at this. Okay, old coin acquired. I mean, look at this amount of mana trails. Literally mana for days. Okay. We'll bounce down here. I mean, I'm literally having to change my route just to manage to find all the mana. Oh. I sense a hostile presence beyond your See, that's my fault up there, just yeah, not yeah. paying Stay attention. Ooh, whoop. That went well. That is it. That asshole's going nowhere. Nope. Let me at him. Gotta make sure that I pay attention to my stamina. And of course dodge all of their attacks too. I don't yet have stamina back. Now's your chance. On it! Well, do something. Nope. Wait a bit. He can technically make that jump, as we saw. But I'm just waiting to get Vine back so that I can put him in one place. There we go. All right.
That's another chest down. All right, let's keep picking up mana trails. The reason I'm focusing so much on mana is not just, of course, to collect it, but also because I'm trying to see what we can get next in terms of our abilities. My plan is to probably get us, actually, I can go ahead and buy this one, is Birdshot level three. That'll give us the ability to put down a lot of damage really quickly. And then Genesis level three as well. So literally the way that I'm doing this is the way that I would recommend for those people who are looking to make their characters battle ready as possible. Uh, let's go ahead. Chest is behind this place. Okay. There's no one around. All right, done. So I'm actually trying to find out. I think we don't get to. Whoa! Look at all of this. I mean, again, just just look at all of this. And these are some of the areas that we passed by but couldn't access. And this is just this area of the map. Again, there's, there's all this stuff over here. And all over this way, too. This map, honestly, is gigantic. Okay, so let's focus back in. Let me not get too over the top uh, in terms of what I'm seeing. So, okay. Let's see where we want to go next. Let's plot these areas here. Do you already have five on the on the chart? Yes, I do. So, did you do we not get overwhelmed? What didn't I do? The problem is, again, this is a hundred percent playthrough, and I want to get to everything. So, <laughs> I'm trying to not kind of take us on wild goose chases. But every time I see a mana string or something, I want to go after it. And I think Trey just makes the traversal too much fun. Uh, people can say what they want, graphics and everything else, but the reality is this game, the traversal, the ability to move, it's just too much fun. I mean, there's, I don't have to do half of the stuff that I would, that I would worry about in other games. Well, let's be honest, most open world games take a million years to go anywhere. Running starts to become a chore because you don't want to have to sit there and take five years to go from one side of the map to the other. This game completely breaks that mold. All right, that's it. <clears throat> oh man, we got we got a whole setup going on here. That'll do it. Oh. Don't uh oh. Nope. That's the reason I set him up right there is so that I could line him up in front of the other enemies. So that, that way I'd be able to use Scattershot level 3 and just launch straight through. So we got Scattershot level 2 and now we just have to get the Scattershot um, level 1 upgrade. So this means now we actually have one of these already done so spellcraft challenge scattershot level two is now done i'll go ahead and get level one done and then we'll actually do bind bind Onward i have to purposefully upward. set my enemies up for that one it's not something that i would normally waste my time doing uh when playing not Na like naturally okay so that's that chest done 
come out to our map here, see what we're looking at. So I marked four in some of these other locations. The problem is these are going to be hard to get to with zip. So I'm actually going to give this one up. We're not going to worry about that for right now. We do have a refuge over here that we could go ahead and lock in. But again, that's taking us a ways away from our, our original destinations. So instead, I'm going to get us over to this Guardian's Way Belfry. I don't even think we're going to... Well, we could actually get to number four. We could get to all of these chests very easily. So we'll do that on the way of the Belfry. Let's move around this way and then come back. So four is up there. Let's make a break for it. And yes, that was pun intended. All right. Again, look at all this mana. So I'm going to go 2 4 really quickly since it's not really difficult to get up here. There we go. Four is done. So now we have a few different areas that we can look at down here. There's a mana store right there. I'm going to go ahead and get that. And see what I'm doing there, it looks, looks like she just so does different. that naturally. I'm actually controlling Madness how I like fall so that I don't wind up hitting the ground from too high of a height and therefore triggering stamina loss. So there's a technique to everything that I'm doing when I'm controlling her. All right, let's go ahead and get involved. Let me guess, bad guys nearby? Got it in one. I'm waiting to go ahead and have them come down here to make my life easier. Nope. Here I come. We probably need one more enemy group and then we'll be done with that spell craft and then we can focus on bind. Alright. Those must be mana. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab that. That's five over there. We'll head that way in a second. Okay, let's cut toward five now. And see again, doing that same thing where we just bounce from spot to spot. Kind of wasted my surge magic. That was my bad. I went to press R2, but instead press L2. Why are you so determined to get back to New York? New York. And because All right. This place is insane. So let's go ahead and trigger them, but gotcha. definitely lock the one of them in off. place. Now's your chance. And this one's now out of the way, so now I can focus on this one. Oh. Ready? Oh. So that's 9,946. Yeah, we're, we're so close. One Looks more like battle and we'll be good to go. Let's not get careless. Okay, let's open our map. So we're heading to the Belfry next, but I'm going to, of course, again, going to pick up anything that I see. So 
If I see mana, we're gonna pick up that mana huh. first. What's this? I'll make a sprint to this one right here. We're not going for the one way over there right now. We'll come back for it. Okay. Some enemies camped out apparently right around here. Yep. Nice. Oh. Well then. Blew them away instantly. And that's our scatter shot level one done. So now I can actually focus on doing bind uh the bind one. So that one's not difficult, but it's definitely gonna be good to try and narrow enemies down to one section before starting it. That way you don't have to deal with too many enemies at once that will interfere with your ability to get the challenge done properly. So let's go ahead, let's continue to scan frequently, make sure we don't get ambushed or anything. Alright, spine stone. Okay, we'll go ahead and stop going Pray, away from Would you me. mind going and taking a closer look at that tower? Uh, sure. I think it might help us get a better sense of our surroundings. You don't expect me to climb that, do you? Okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead and get to the tower. ruled over one joyless realm, huh? Who did she make it joyless, I wonder? Hmm. Deep. Okay. So now we have a fast travel destination. And this is the beautiful thing about using the cuff scan. Now you actually have an ability to see pretty much all of the markers that are in this area. In addition to that, just like how you have the map where you can kind of scan and, and figure out what's here, you can put down for each of these a way plate, a way marker, or a way stamp from here. So since we already have one um, attached to this area, and note that this does not work for chess, it only shows, in a sense, your big landmarks, right? So we'll have to check each of these out in turn. I don't think we're really ready for a fortress overrun yet because I kind of want at least fire magic to help us with that just in case, but we'll try it out. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at it. I'm not going to rule anything Silas out. Now. I imagine her minions will be coming after you with a vengeance. Those insane soldiers, you mean? The very same. Try not to get murdered, won't you? I'll see what I can do. Okay, this one's gonna take a second. All right, let me get it figured out. We gotta get to that next piece. So... So see, the problem is this piece wants to move here. I guess let's do it that way, yeah. Yep. There we go. Oof, that was kind of tough. Let's see. What do we got here? Alright, so old coin is this. That's done. We don't need to go... Well, we can't climb that. So there's no point. Let's just go ahead and go down. We'll take the salmon to hit for a second. Uh, I see enemies down this way too. And I 
do want to fight them. I think those are the monitor lizards that we saw in the demo. Again, there's so much mana. This is just insane. And of course, the fact that due to her speed, you can basically speed raid almost anything if you're careful. All right. So let's make sure that I'm right. Yeah. Be ready These are the monitor wizards. This actually will not be that bad. At least as long as I stay away from them anyway. Look out! They have a particularly annoying long range attack. And something that you have to be careful of with enemies that scurry like this, you can't really see them, right? In any form of grass, they become nigh impossible to see. So you really gotta make sure that you properly take advantage of your surroundings and that you keep an eye on all of the enemies that you're fighting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set them up. Surge magic. Then let's highlight again. My goal is to approach. get rid of Whatever the remaining two with. here. And then this Ooh. one will actually well. stick him like that. Bet it did. that set up nowhere. and then perform Whoa. attacks Ooh. right that here. Gotta hurt. So see, that's almost done with bind right there. I almost missed the so that's the strategy. You around, don't you? Believe me, uh, you're plenty of commotion let's all go by yourself. Over here. Oh, well, I'll be. So those soldiers really are just randomly around here. That's hilarious. Again, her speed is just insane. So they're the perfect example of That's enemies to use bind against. Try this for but size. we'll start by using burst shot and notice how I'm able to charge burst shot immediately to burst level three you just have to use the right like so right after you attack once you can charge immediately to a burst level three so from here I'm gonna actually get behind him and then there we go. Had to work a That's the spellcraft there. challenge oh, taken yeah. care of. Okay. Now let me see where we are in terms of versus a refuge. There's not one super close by, but we're not actually going in this direction either. We're going to be going back to this location. So we can actually probably stop by the refuge before we go there. Mana doesn't replenish. So after we actually find, or should I say like the mana spouts, right? So after we go and hit those, we don't really have to worry about them past that point again. Because they're not going to show up again. Um, so let me see. This is where the refuge is. It looks far, but it's really not. Get out of the way. Oh, whoop. I made a mistake there. This will do it. That kind of magic requires more range. Guess All that right. Already. Got you on your toes now. Mm. 
So I did take a hit because my stamina was low. That's, you know, it is what it is, I guess they say. Nope. Now's your chance. On it. We'll go ahead and use first shot. If they'll come back. I think the enemy's running away. All right. Yeah. Come on, come get a pebble. There we go. Might okay, well just some this. bomb flax. All right, I kind of got turned around. We're going this way. So again, this is the power of scatter shot level three. That's why I wanted to level it up so much. Because if you can continually line your enemies up, oh, it's it's beautiful. And that's actually why we're about to do the spellcraft challenge for that one as well. So we'll go in here really quickly. Are you going to read something? And we're going to go ahead and pick up the Spellcraft Challenge for that one. And let's do Burst Shot. All we have to do is take out enemies that are weak to phrase magic. So, I mean, that's, that's simple. Um, oh, and something that's really important. For any Spellcraft Challenge that you're trying to level up, it has to be the one to kill the enemies for the kills to count if you're trying to do a specific type of spellcraft challenge. That's, that's very important. So like for Disperse, for example, it has to take out the flying enemies. If you kill them yourself with a different spell, it doesn't count because it wasn't Disperse. So make sure that you keep that in mind, of course, when you're using these enemies, these abilities. Challenge accepted. Let's go ahead and do Prime as well. And again, how I'm doing this right now is literally how I would absolutely recommend you to do them in real time. This this is the guy, per se. So let's go ahead and check out this Myasis uh, thing over here. Second, I'm going to pause for a quick second and then we'll uh, see about picking this one up. While on gaming here, unfortunately, this clip had to end early. So thank you for watching and we'll pick it up in the next one. Peace.